Are you having a problem with the AC on your Honda system where the AC blows warmer on the left side than it does on the right side? Well, that's a pretty common problem. Let's go talk about what's going on. All right, pretty common complaint from Honda owners where the left side of the dash is warmer than the right. And uh, before we go over what most likely is going on, let's talk about the components in the system. Okay, as you can see here from my crew drawing, I got these four boxes and that's going to represent the four vents in your dash. And then I got a picture of the evaporative core which is underneath your dash. We got the air mix motor and you got your blower motor and the thermal expansion valve. So that's all the parts we're going to talk about right now. Okay, so the basic way this operates, you got refrigerant coming up to the thermal expansion valve. And then the expansion valve is, has a larger opening, so the refrigerant expands and then flows through the evaporative core and then back out and onto the compressor. And then you got your blower motor, which blows air past the air mix door, past the evaporator, and out to the vents. And your air mix door, what that does is it just mixes your hot air from your heater with the cold air from your evaporator. So in basic terms, the liquid refrigerant is coming in the line, go flowing through the line, and by the time it gets near the end, it vaporizes or boils off, or evaporates, hence the name. And then the vapor is carried back to the compressor. And so as the air flows across, the heat is transferred from the inside of your car to the refrigerant and carried out. So now you know how it's supposed to work when it's operating properly. What's causing it to only be warm on the left and cool on the right? Well, the number one cause of it is not enough refrigerant or low refrigerant. So as the refrigerant comes in, it's flooding this evaporator core, but instead of flooding most of it, it's only flooding part of it and then boiling off too fast. And so as the air comes across, it's only transferring heat on this side and this side it's not and so you'll see a temperature difference normally in the range of about 20 to 25 degrees difference cooler to warmer so that's the number one cause is low refrigerant and another reason you might see vent temperatures warmer on the left and cooler on the right would be a restriction in the AC system either one of the AC lines is restricted or one of the components inside the AC system is restricted and basically it's mimicking the symptoms of a low refrigerant charge. Only part of the evap core is being flooded with refrigerant. And so just as before, you're only going to have heat transfer taking place on one half of the evaporator core. And because of the layout of the evap core on most Hondas, this side of the evaporator core is going to see the refrigerant first. And so when there's not enough refrigerant in there, this is always going to be the side that's properly cooling. Now, another reason you might see problems would be if there's an issue with the air mix door. Now most Hondas this is just one solid door with one motor but Hondas do come with dual climate control and on those systems the, this door is split in two so there's actually two doors with two motors one for each side and so if there's a problem with each one of those motors that can definitely cause one side or the other to be the wrong temperature. And usually if there's a problem with the air mix door, there will be a diagnostic trouble code or DTC inside the climate control unit. Well, there you go. Those are three reasons why you might see warm air on the left and cool air on the right on your Honda. And as always, hey, if the video helped you out or you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.